Welcome everyone to City Skylines. This is a game I've been wanting to do a series of for a long while. I mean years. I may have done a short-lived series on it a long time ago, but I've played it a lot off and on since then, off camera. This has kind of been, this and Banished are my go-to off camera, sit, chill, and relax games. The problem is I tend to play them for about an hour or two worth of gameplay, not necessarily in one sitting, and then I'll, I'll, I'll not touch it for like a month. And then I come back to it and I'm like, well, I don't want to pick up where I left off. I want to start a new world. So one way to prevent me from doing that is to bring you along with me. And, and doing a series of it holds me accountable. But also, this week is a fairly busy week for me. So just in case I don't get the recording done for this week, I wanted to have an easy game for me to just create some videos and throw them out there so that there was content to be delivered. But... I figure that's a good time to start this, so that's why we're doing that now. So we're going to start up a new game. Uh, the other reason I'm playing this now is I just picked up the Humble, bu the Humble Bundle, uh, which I'll have a link for in the description if you would like to purchase. Uh, it comes with City Skylines and a whole bunch of mods, not mods, sorry, DLCs uh, for it as well. For, I think, 20 bucks you get all of them, or there's varying degrees of packages you can buy. The link in the description will actually help me out a little bit if you wouldn't mind, but if not, no biggie whatsoever. So, uh, because it's a, this has all sorts of DLCs that I've never played, there are lots of, um, wow, there are lots more options here. So I was only used to having these. Uh, what are all of these? I have no idea. Oh, this map requires airports. Oh, I don't have that one. Okay, okay, S zipping back up here. <gasps> There's snowy areas, that's so cool. I had frozen shire. Suitable area for building is only 51%, but that looks beautiful. Okay, I do I do tend to go gameplay, not visuals. So we're gonna go for visuals a bit this time. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Oh, that has a large suitable build area, but look at the look at the the river flowing. Oh, you know what? I I did a test on this one. Uh so no, I don't want to play that. I want to do something brand new. Ah, like a Hawaii look? That's interesting. Cavern Coast. Okay, that's got a good amount of land. We've got a river. We've got mountains. That seems pretty interesting to me. Uh, we're going to we're gonna call this land uh, in, in... Hello, can I do a capital I? There you go. Indigonia. Go Gonia. Indi Indigonia. There we go. Okay, welcome to Indigonia. <laughs> uh, okay, can I can I turn these off? Is there a way to turn off the advisor? I did turn off the chirp. Oh, the chirp. This is actually the first time I will play without the chirp. I'm very excited about this. Uh, I do have a couple of mods installed. I don't remember if I mentioned that. I listen. Now is the time to tell you. I I know enough about I know enough about this game to get myself in trouble. You should not necessarily play the way I play. Although I do enjoy watching City Planner plays City Skyline, so I've learned a bit from him. All right, so this is a nice plot of land we start with. Uh, this will be a good one to buy next. This one would not. This one would be good, too. We can get some nice... Oh, actually, this one would probably be better because we can get... It, this touches the interstate. This doesn't touch the interstate at all. So it's almost like you have to buy this one and this one at the same time. Which, what's this down here? I want to know what that is. Right there. Anywho. Okay, so. Step one is always to build a road. The problem is, the road they force you to start with is not the road you want. Okay. Can we turn, can we turn that off? Aha, uh -huh. show in-game guide pop-ups. Thank you, go away. Although we're gonna reach a point where I want them, I'll probably turn them back on. Okay, so. <sighs> Gotta do the standard, build a little road and remove it, okay. Now we get some more handy roads that we can choose from. Uh, let's just do a four lane. As close to the middle of that as possible. Now. <sighs> We gotta really think about our costs here. So we're actually here. Let's let's let this road curve out 
this direction a little bit. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's just bring it, bring it right up here. That's 8,500. All right, let's go for it. That's a little painful, but that's okay. It's a good starting point. One thing I really learned from City Planner is, nope, nope, nope. There. Uh, oh wait, no, I do want a little bit of a curve to it. How do you do this? I want to do this. That, is that right? I guess that's right. And now I want to do this. Oh, it's not letting me do that. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. That'll do. It's ugly. It's ugly, but it'll do. Are those stop signs? Those aren't stop signs. That's do not enter. Okay. All good. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're do not enter. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense here. Wait, what? Why is this not going? Hold on. Why is that turn? No. We're already in need of one of my mods. Open, please. Open. There we go. Okay, great. Close. Uh, this right here. Why are you... No, you should... Okay, this road did not... That road did not build properly for me. Let's try it like that. What? Why are you not... I've done this a thousand times. There we go. Oh my goodness, why does it... Okay, you know what? We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna let it just look like that. <laughs> there's a little there's a little bit of sand that has crept onto the road. <laughs> uh, we're going to keep it. It doesn't matter. This is going to all change eventually anyhow. Probably, I don't know. Uh, one thing I learned, back to what I was saying, one thing I've learned from City Planner is uh, if you, well, let's go back to roads. If you scroll, If you scroll down on the roads, you can get a dirt road, rather a gravel road. And oh my goodness. That saves you so much money in the beginning if you just do a whole bunch of gravel roads and then you upgrade them later. Oh, man. It just makes life so much easier. Now, the other thing I know is we want our industrial area to be as close to the exit as possible because that has the most in and out traffic <sighs> one thing I often like to do is I like making like it's I, I like giving it its own exit to use I think for now though part of me wants to attach it here because this is a th this is three lanes right And then I almost want to do like an overpass to reconnect it on this side. Oh, although they could just come down here and pull a U-turn to leave. That would probably be okay. Yeah, they could just turn left here and avoid the little sand trap. <laughs> you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. So uh, we're actually just going to go ahead and make that a gravel road as well. We're going to take it from right here. Yeah. So we're going to take that all the way down to the water. And that's for a very specific reason. It's going down right uh, here. Okay. Because we're going to need power. Oh, yeah. That's plenty close enough. And I want to make sure that power uh, can reach our... Oh, it's almost close enough probably to reach our water situation okay so water's flowing that way so we want this is our water pumping station so we want the water pump down here and the sewage let's actually to bring it down a little bit more we can we can stretch out the uh we can build some power lines that's fine okay that one's connected great power lines down there to that. This just means our residential that's down here will be swimming in poop water. Great. 
Okay, so this will all be resident or uh, industrial stuff down here. We'll worry about that momentarily. Uh, we'll bring power to the residents from here. Uh, for now, we need to do some gravel roads for our first residential area. Which, you know what? Let's not actually take to the beach just yet. Let's save that for some nicer properties. Let's just go ahead and bring out a nice long road here. Yeah, some of them get pretty close to the beach. That's fine. Uh, and then we'll bring this back. And let's go ahead and have a crossroad here. What was... Did that bridge? Oh, that bridged. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. Hm. And then we'll mimic that over here on this side. This will be our first little neighborhood. And we'll continue it this way a bit with some commercial stuff as well. Uh, so let's go in here and let's paint these. Let's let's start with the interior for now. Uh, yeah. Oh, we need to do some pipes as well. That's right. Almost forgot. Let's bring this, connect that up there. This is almost wide enough to cover everything, but not quite. So let's just go ahead and do this. Space occupied. By what? Uh, yeah. Let's just come up here and do this. Okay. All right. Uh, resume time. And actually, this is probably close enough. If they build some houses... Well, actually, I guess... I guess I should probably make this some residential right here. Yeah, because then they'll build houses here, hopefully. Uh, and we can... Oh, you know what? We need to uh, we need to go in here and lower... Oh, not the road budget. Keep the road budget up. That's fine. Uh, but let's lower our power and water spending. We'll raise that up as we need it. All right, resume time. Good, we got people building here, so the power will spread... Excellent. Okay, so people have power, people have water, we're good to go. People are moving in, but that's not good enough uh, because while they move in, we need more neighborhoods built off of this. So let's do one more section. Uh, no, here. Okay, so I want to leave one middle section here, probably for school and a park uh, fire station and police i'm not sure where i'll end up having those uh, they may not necessarily be in this neighborhood but that'll do for now uh, there's a little bit of commercial uh request coming in so we're going to do that here in a second let's go ahead and put these in here and let's go ahead and let's just do these as commercial that'll be good Oh, and let's go ahead and plan out while that all builds up. We'll start planning out our industrial area, which I think we're just going to do just just a bunch of T intersections. Why not? Now, this is just a starting industrial area. We're obviously going to need more than this. Uh, let's actually leave that open because we may buy this map plot down here and build into that. Uh, which actually, I guess, would be better to clear up this side. So let's do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. Clear that. That'll be fine for now. Oh, and they'll need water. Oh, so will these folks... down well no let's let's pull that from here gives me a better straight shot okay all right people are moving in shops are opening up 
cool, cool. Um, another thing I wanted to do that I saw someone else do, I don't remember who this was, it could have been City Planner, was just doing like little four by fours on corners and it's like, it, it's enough space for like a pizzeria to open or something like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do, yeah, let's just fill in the rest of that with residential, okay. Now that's a lot for this one road, so maybe let's go ahead and plan on doing another road that touches the main street, which we should probably name at some point. Okay, that is gonna, that's not quite, how do you get rid of the clicking? Well, let's just do it and see where it goes. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so let's have this do this, and then here, great. Bring this across there. Industrial is building up. There's a little bit of industrial need. Not a whole lot of anything else going on right now. So let's speed up time. Oh, that's going to need water. Uh, it's mostly covered. It's almost covered. Go ahead and plan on. Although that's this is encroaching on the industrial district a bit, so we're gonna this will all be commercial down here. Yeah. In fact, just for kicks, because the industrial has to deliver stuff to the commercial, let's put a connecting road there. That's actually probably not a bad idea. Let me go ahead and mark this as commercial before I forget. Ah, okay, congratulations, little Hamlet. We now get to control taxes. We can get loans. We've got garbage to deal with, healthcare, and education as well. Great, okay, so let's go ahead and mark these as commercial. That one as well, and then let's do this bottom half as commercial. And then let's get more residential up here and here. So that's that's far enough away from industrial that I think it won't affect it. How's water on all of that? Water on all of that is good. Excellent. Okay, so we have things to worry about now. Uh, so let's just let time go slowly. Uh, taxes are a thing now, which apparently you can take it up to like 12 and it doesn't impact anything. We're not going to risk it quite that much. We're just going to take it up. We're going to take it up to 11. Um, water and electric. Okay, electricity is a little low. So let's raise the budget in electricity. Okay, that should help with that. Yes, beautiful. Um, okay, so we've got education and health to worry about. So health care, we can do a medical clinic. Uh, there's also a oh, general hospital. N nope, can't do that. So a medical clinic. Uh, where are our zones? Okay, so I did have this zone a little bit open. Let's do the medical clinic over here. Because it's kind of close to the main road, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, let's drop that over there. That'll be good. And so the school, we had decided it was going to come over here. We can do a community school. A small and safe community school allows children to get education and grow into educated adults, an alternative to elementary school. Upkeep. So it's 12,000 versus 10,000 and higher upkeep. Student capacity 300, student capacity 250. So this is a better but smaller education. Interesting. You know what? We're going to try it. We're going to go for it. Give us a community school. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? Let's do it right here. Everybody's happy with that. Everybody loves a school. Um, do we have any parks yet? I don't think we do yet. We don't have that unlocked yet. So good. Okay, now we need to deal with trash which there is a recycling center which we can't afford but if we speed up time we could so citizens can recycle more different kinds of waste when the city has a recycling center making less garbage pile up and the center produces small amounts of raw materials from the waste so is this in addition to 
the landfill? Do you need both? And what is this? Recycling center slowly sifts through the remo and removes garbage over time. Very noisy, inefficient, but it's 100% clean. Ah, very expensive though. Okay, so let's wait. I want I want to see what happens if we just do the recycling plant because we can we can hit that. We can afford that. We're getting a little bit of a residential demand, but there's enough that they can still do. There's still places for them to build. Uh, water is coming down. Electricity is also down. Okay, let's just go ahead and bring electricity up to 100. And water up a little bit. Uh, what does it look like? Oh, oh, oh. We got it. Okay. Uh, pause. Recycling center. Okay, so let's try this. We're gonna put this um, out here so it's so far away from the people. We wanna show everybody that's coming into our city that we have a recycling center. Oh, I was making sure that wasn't a red light. I was really worried that was a red light. Okay. Resume. So that uh, oh, I wanted to see for solar power, or sorry, wind power, what kind of numbers are we working with? Seven. Okay, because it only maxes out at eight, I think. Yeah, so I can get a couple of sevens, but I wouldn't want... There's an eight up here, I think it looks like. Nope, seven. Six. Okay. Oh, Worthy Village. So we get uh, new areas to purchase. Districts, policies. This policies is good to have. We can take a second loan, district specializations, services policies. Okay, we've got emergency services now and police, uh, unique buildings, forestry specialization. And, and this is something I've never tackled. Specialize in forestry to take advantage of the renewable woodland. Ah, oh. slightly increased electricity consumption, slightly increased tax income, required natural resource forest. Oh, see, I've never messed with that. Agricultural specialization. Sun-soaked plains and fertile lands are ideal for agriculture and grazing. Considerably increased water consumption. Slightly increased tax income. Uh, required natural resources, fertile land. So I don't know if I have that, so we'll have to look that up and see. But that's awesome. So uh, Indigonia is now at how many people? Indigonia is now at 800 population. Look at that. We have... 800 Indigonians. In, in, Indigonites. Indigonians. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time in Indigonia. Adios. Goodbye.